In this video, I'm going to show you how to create cool transitions like this in Adobe Premiere using TrackMed K. Alrighty, my name is William Ong. I'm a photographer, videographer, and also a content creator. I'm also a full-time lecturer. Just about five months ago, I posted a video called how to create cool transitions in Adobe Premiere Pro 2022 using Luma videos, no plugins. In the video, I was using a technique called SetMet, but recently Adobe made the SetMet obsolete. It still works, but I find SetMet now a little bit clunky and feels a little bit buggy. So instead of SetMet, now we're going to use TrackMet key, which works really well with the Luma videos. So in case you're wondering, what are the Luma Matte videos? So Luma Matte videos are basically black and white, some kind of graphics or effects, or it can be three-dimensional stuff. They basically change from black to white or vice versa. So they're perfect for creating transitions. As you can see, I'm using that effect to create this transition. So where do you find these transitions? So I found mine on a website like pixabay.com. This is a free community where they share free stock photos and videos. What you want to do is you want to go to the videos, go to the search and look for something like transition. You may also be able to find by keywords such as black and white, luma key, effects, etc. And effects like these are what you're looking for. I'll be using the effect called grunge half and these two files there. You can click on them and download the files. So I'm going to be using just the 1080 version of that. And this is the other one that I'll be using. So I put up the link in the description below so that you can download these files as well. Okay, now we're in Adobe Premiere. I've got two really simple video clips right here. So as a transition file, I'll be using this grunge 39411 file from the pixabay.com. So I'm just going to drag and drop this onto the timeline. So take note though, for this transition effect to work, the video files that you have the Luma information has to be on top of the two video files that you want to create the transition from and to. All right, as you can see here, the transition file is actually way too long for my video files. So I'm going to right click on the Luma video, go speed duration. In the clip speed duration, I'm going to type 400%. So this is going to depend on how long your transition is, how fast the effects you want it to be and I'm going to press enter. So as you can see now, the transition video is now a lot shorter. So I'm going to put it somewhere around the middle and the video should have a bit of an overlap. So I'm just going to drag it a little bit forward and I'm going to drag the bottom video a little bit towards the end. So now the video sits perfectly on top of that. So we're ready to apply the track mat. So to do that, I'm going to go to the effects panel. So I'm going to type track mat key. So as you can see this one, we're actually going to apply this track mat key onto the video layer above. We're not going to apply it to the grunge layer. We're actually going to apply it to the video layer above. So keep that in mind. So we're going to drag that track mat key onto the video track above there. So now that we've applied the effect, we need to go to the effect controls to adjust that. So to do that, I'm just going to effect controls right there. Click on that. Open up the parameters. You should be able to find the track mat key right here. We're going to change from mat alpha to Matt Luma. Luma tracks are what we have, which are black and white information videos. If we're working with PNG files like transparent logos and so on, Matt Alpha would be the one that's appropriate. But in our scenario, Matt Luma is what we need to do. And in terms of Matt, we need to choose the video track. So what you want to do is you want to look at the track number, which is currently on the V3. So it's going to depend whether your grunge layer is on the V4 or V3, we need to take note of the number. In our scenario, since our Luma video is on the V3, we'll take note of that. And we come in here, we go to Matt, click on the arrow, and going to choose Video 3. You will notice that the Luma video disappears and now it becomes a transition. Now check that out. The effects now applied, but the video disappeared towards the end. So this happens because this video is still looking for the Luma track information, but the Luma track information ends here. So what we need to do is we need to extend this video a little bit longer. So to fix this problem, we're going into the very last part of this track. You can press the plus keys on the keyboard to go to the last frame possible. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my cursor here as close as I can to the right side of the clip and then right click there. And I'm going to choose the function called add frame hole. What it does is Adobe Premiere Pro has created a still frame. So now this frame can now be extended all the way as long as you want. So now the Luma layer above contains information, we can now see the video. So that's all we need to do. So now let's check that out. So there you go. That's really simple. I'm going to show you another example how to do that, but this time a little bit quicker. Okay, in this sequence, you can see I've got two video files right there. So I'm going to be using this grunge effect, which is a bit more centralized. So to drag that, you'll notice that it's actually very long. 
So the same thing, I'm gonna right click on the Luma track, go to speed duration. So I'm gonna shorten it down probably about 400%. And that looks just right. So the next step, I'm gonna to go to track mat key and drag it onto the video track here. Remember that applies to the video track, not to the Luma video. And then go to the effect controls here. Go to your track mat key, change the mat alpha to mat Luma, and then change the mat to video three because I remember that's my video track right there. So that's it, as you can see the effect right there. But as usual, it disappears after the transition ends. To fix that, we're gonna zoom in by pressing the plus key a couple times. Put your mouse cursor there, right click, add frame hold. And now that becomes a little clip, we can stretch as long as we need to, all the way towards the end. And let's play it again. There you go. Alrighty, so that's about it. So this is a track met key that replaces the set met, which is now obsolete on Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and follow me for more videos like this. I'll see you in the next.